So the video you're about to watch is me going out to get my first bass for 2018. It's not just my first bass, it's just the first fish in general. I haven't fished at all this year. I haven't really felt like it. Uh, I've gone out a few times here and there, but I haven't really tried that hard. And so that's what I do in this video is go out and attempt to get my first fish. Because it's been a while. The last time I caught a bass was like October, I think. So it's been a minute. It's not a whole lot I'm going to say about this video except for I am back in fishing mode. I caught the bug again. I'm ready to pump out videos. I had really good days in this video. So that should give you something to look forward to. I didn't shoot this intro the days of because I haven't caught anything in a while and I don't want to waste my time to an intro. I just want to get on fish so the filming stuff came later after I actually got the content because um, intros are pointless if you don't have content to back it up with. With that being said, I apologize for the wind in this video. My mic died and I need to bring more batteries with me so I had to go off the internal mic on the GoPro and on this thing and it's pretty windy but it's not horrible and the content's good in my opinion so I'm uploading it. Big shout out to Fishing Bait Club, they are the highlighted bait used in this video. I was just using a soft plastic paddle tail swim bait and it produced pretty freaking well. So if you want some of those, they're like Kitex, link in the description. Anyway, enjoy this video. There we go. We're on. Hell yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. And there we go, man. First bass of 2018. Woo. Not a bad little male there. <laughs> nice, 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 nice. Official first bass, first fish, 2018. Saw a little pound and a half bass on uh, one of my confident moving baits, which is the black spinner bait. So I'm gonna let this guy go. Ugh. I've been out here for maybe uh, 15 minutes. That was like my, that was actually my very first cast with the spinner bait after uh, dragging around a Texas rig craw for a little bit so hell yeah that's awesome first fish of the year and sadly it's april but i'm on the board yeah oh that felt so good by no means a big bass but when you haven't caught not only a bass but a fish since october i would have taken something a pound smaller than that and still been happy so it's just good to be on the board. Filming gets sloppy for me when I uh, haven't caught anything in a while because I just kind of want to get fishing. So I just threw this on. I didn't do an intro to this video or really set up anything. I just slapped it on and started fishing. So I can do all that stuff afterwards once I get some content because I've gone out fishing like three or four times dry. And so just trying to get one on the board and I did it feels great this is getting thin mushy oh. just holding a thousand dollar camera while I do this just whatever dude Jesus oh nope oh I'm sinking might be the end of the road. No, I'm so close. Oh, it's getting in my socks. Um, shoot. What do I do? Oh, I had to just get right there. I'm so close. 
Do I just risk it? Ruin these shoes? They're already pretty mucked up. Oh my god. Shh. No. Ugh. Why does this have to be all flooded? Come on! I don't think I'm getting over there. Seriously, so close. That was a bite. I think I just caught my line that I just lost. Oh my god, I did. <laughs> I just caught the jig that I just snapped off. What the hell? Okay, cool. Wow, that was lucky. My first cast out with this jig after I snapped off of this swim jig is I <laughs> didn't do it. Oh my god. Sweet. Didn't lose any lures. Well, now I can tie this back on. Bought my line. Where it snapped, because I snapped off about 25 feet of line. All right. Got one on. Yeah, that's a good fish too. Oh, he nailed it. Yeah. Good little chunker. Ooh. Ooh, I got a little carried away with that flip there. Snap my line. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Ah, sweet. Nice little two pounder. On a little swim jig. There you go, bud. Woo! Freaked myself out when I heard the line snap because I like I didn't want to uh, go reach down in the water because it's really gooky down here. The mud is nice and soft, so I heard the line snap when I flipped them because I reeled up too much when I flipped them and I thought I snapped my rod tip and I was like, no! Because that is one of my brand new rods right there. Sweet! Man, he hit that hard. So while I was on my little hiatus, I was uh, filming some product ads for uh, the partner company to connect scale and it's fishing bait club and it's a super cool company uh, i didn't realize how like extensive their inventory was and um, i got a bunch of these uh, swim baits and crank baits and uh, like wake baits all these different versatile little baits to uh shoot videos with I actually I also got like a uh, big swim gill swim gill big bluegill swim baits uh, to film the videos but he let me keep them and so I have a bunch of these different kind of uh, just boot tail swim baits and I really like them they're a lot like Kitex uh, they're not like they're not soft but they swim really well and I mean they work I just caught the bass on it so Ooh, this is deep right here a little rundown of this pond that I'm fishing at the moment. Um, so where I'm standing was about five to ten feet underwater last year. And uh, living in Oregon, everything is sam and steelhead spawn. All the, uh, a lot of the nature conservatory projects revolve around that, including this huge pond system. There was, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, I think six, six or seven ponds over here that held a bunch of bass. Uh, like this guy I know caught a 10 pounder out of here, which is 
kind of unheard of for Oregon ponds, even though the uh, PB was 12 out of a pond. Oh, they are moving down where I wanted to go. Anyway, um, so what they're doing is they're filling in. They opened up the very back pond that runs alongside one of our rivers. They opened it up for salmon and stuff to come back and spawn and whatnot like that. And so they're filling in like all the other ponds, pretty much killing off all the bass, opening the ponds, just, just kind of made everything really crappy. And it really sucks because this place was, it was sweet. It was a lot nicer looking than it is now. It's a lot of just dirt and flat and featureless now. And a lot of the water's dropped, which is like, I mean, it's not terrible. It kind of concentrates the fish a little bit, a little less water to move or to work. But it's just kind of annoying once I find this really good pond that I've heard about but didn't know where it was. And then as soon as I start fishing it, then it's the year that they actually start working on it. And I mean, I've caught a lot of good fish out of here. A lot of upper threes, a couple fours, a lot of twos. And I've seen some monsters, but I just, I worry. As the time goes on with the construction, uh, is that I'm worried what this place is gonna look like a year from now, if this is what it looks like a year from when I start fishing it, because it has changed drastically, which is worrisome. So I'm gonna get time here while I can. I'm just gonna work this uh, swim jig little while longer move back to my stuff and uh, walk that back pond do a little sight fishing see if I can see anything up shallow and I'll move Let's see go check out the palma I guess there we go There we go, there we go. Oh, that's a good fish. Oh, that's not that good. Man, he fought hard. He fought a lot harder than... <laughs> yeah, there's another little fish. Not too big. About a pound. Man, he put slack in my line, though. Other way, bud. There you go. Thanks for biting. Sweet. That was a hard hit. He wasn't messing around. That thing dug, like, twice as hard as that. <laughs> Two and a half did. That one feels better. Yeah, that one feels better. Yeah, that one's definitely better. Stay down, stay down. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, he's jumping a bunch. Stay down. Good. Oh, there we go. Ah. Yeah, that's about the size I felt. It felt like. Bust the big camera out for this guy. All right, third fish today. This one's a lot better than the last few. I'll let her go. I'm pretty sure it's a female. Nice chunky, about three pound, two and a half, maybe three. Boom! <laughs> there you go, girl. Swim jig. Okay. Fortunately, my mic is dead, so I'm gonna have to.
deal with this wind. But I have this going. I got you going too. Let's see if I can crack another decent one. Oh my god, there's no first cast. Oh my god. Right after I said that, oh my gosh. Woo, come back here. <laughs> oh, boo. Man, they're liking the swim jig. There we go. I'm really digging that fishing bait club trailer. It's awesome. <laughs> Let's see if I crack another one. Okay. First cast. Thank you. Uh, you right? That's the first. Never seen a bass swim back to shore. Mm. Sick. <laughs> oh my God. Seriously, this trailer is kicking ass. It's a baby bass. It's the color. Appropriate timing. <laughs> oh my God. That's pretty funny. Oh my god! Oh, he's, oh, he's pinned under. He's pinned under some uh, wood. There you go. Huh. Ooh. Next cast! Yeah! Next freaking cast! He was caught before, you can tell he's got a little hole, not the top hole, but there's a hole further back. Nice. Go, oh, boom. Quit swimming the opposite way, you dingus. Jesus. That's three casts in a row I've caught a fish. Three in a row. Freaking A. Two males and a female. Sick. Oh, he loaded up on that. Not bad one. Whoa. Jesus, I almost ate it on that log. Oh my God, how did I not fall there? Oh, I wish the kid was going for that. I s walked onto that and it rolled. Whew. Okay, ow, my back. All right, torpedo back. Whoop. Whoop. Cool. Oh man, she hit. Oh, this is a good fish. Oh, she hit right at the. F oh my god. Holy crap, she hit right at the freaking shoreline. Yeah! <laughs> oh my god! Holy jeez! I think that's my uh, three and a half right there. Woo. There's a good one right there. She hit right at shore. Gorgeous fish. I love you. I'm having a good time. All right, I'm gonna put her back where I found her. Ugh. Thank you, sweetheart. Oh. 
Wrong way. Why are they all turning around? You dork. Go the way I pointed you. Jesus. Eh. Soaked my foot. Butt cheek. I guess that's what I get for fake feeding you food. So I think I'm gonna call it a day for today. Uh, I'm fine with that. It's almost four, I've been here since about 10.30, so it's a good amount of time on the water. Here's the big pond I've been fishing behind me. Uh, I just got, I got a bad headache and it's, it's killing me, so I don't really wanna stay out too much longer. But I don't know, I've, done, I've done good. This is beyond the day I thought I was gonna have. I caught that one fish all the way over there and I was happy with that. And I came over here and I nailed about five to six more, I think. And uh, a couple of those were like two to three pounders. So I'm happy with that. It's a great way to start my uh, spring, at least my spring fishing. I'm gonna head out and I will see you in just a sec. So I hope you enjoyed that video. I'm very happy to be back. Uh, spring season always brings me Good luck, and I'm super, super excited to start pumping out content again. I'm gonna try to do, I am going to do weekly content, but I wanna try to do bi-weekly. It just, it's kind of uh, luck a little bit. Have to get a good day, have to not have batteries die, have to catch fish, all that good stuff. So anyway, I have a bunch of video ideas coming out, and uh, this video turned out really well, except for the wind. I had a good time. I caught the fishing bug again, and it's good to be back, and I'm excited to grow this channel. I want to get to 500 subs, hopefully by summer, and I would like to hit 1,000 by the end of the year. So help me make that possible. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe. If uh, you want to see more stuff, just hit that uh, subscribe button, and I will pump out new things if you have video ideas you want to see just let me know all that good stuff i will communicate i'm a smaller channel i can get uh information that you need or feedback or whatnot pretty direct because i don't have a ton of people talking to me so anyway thank you for watching i hope to catch you and some fish in the next video Peace.